Howdy folks, my name is Richie aka Bog Otter and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. Let me turn off my slow motion dramatic walk here. Um, happy Halloween! I wanted to show off this Darth Vader costume, which I'm pretty proud of. I basically went into the uh, wardrobe in the bank and, uh, you know, just went through a whole bunch of different options in order to kind of uh, come up with one that looks the most like Darth Vader. And I wanted to show you guys which pieces make up this outfit in case you have a uh, character that you want to dress up like Darth Vader. Of course, it's probably going to look best on a Norn or maybe even a human like I have here. I think Norn with the, the gigantic stature, a Norn male actually works quite well with this and of course this is also going to be for a heavy armor folk um i haven't looked to see if you can make a darth vader like costume uh with a light armor or medium armor set but let's get into how you actually make this so you're going to need a bunch of different things one of the first things you're going to need is you're going to need the um the aether blade outfit from the gem store unfortunately I kept waiting for there to be a sale. There was a bunch of sales going on the past uh, month or two, and I kept waiting for the Aether Blade set to go on sale, and it didn't. So I ran out of time, and I just said, you know what? Halloween's here. Let me get this uh, thing made. Um, I'm not able to find it there. It is. Oh, let me. Oh, don't tell me. It, is it? Is it? Is it cheap right now? Because look, all the costumes are. No, there's a bunch of things for sale right now, but not not the Aether Blade. All right, so you need the Aether Blade heavy armor skin. Um, from the gem store and that gives you three pieces for the uh, for the actual set that's the chest piece you can see here and it gives you the gloves and the legs now what what, what what's important about these pieces is they kind of have like the robotic steampunk you know aspect to it but it, it really makes the the Darth Vader outfit look you know like he's part machine like he's supposed to now looking at the helmet the helmet is the forgeman helmet which you can get from running the sorrows embrace dungeon if you look at the vendor here in lion's arch you go over to the exotic tab, and the Forgeman helmet should be here somewhere if I can find it. There it is, the Forgeman helmet. It's a 180 manifesto of the Molotariat, which is the currency that you get in there. So a couple runs of the wings and the Star Wars Embrace, and you can get the helmet. The shoulder pads are Inquest shoulder pads. Um, so the Inquest pauldrons, to be specific. And that's another dungeon run. That is going to be the Crucible of Eternity. If we go over to the vendor for that dungeon over here, you see the Crucible of Eternity. And uh, let's see, take some armor off your hands, go to the exotic, and we're looking for the heavy armor pauldrons. So that's 210 knowledge crystals, and those shoulder blades can be yours. There's other shoulders that could work. I just thought these were the most kind of robotic looking. Obviously, they don't look like Darth Vader's uh, you know, shoulders, and we don't have the long flowing cape. And uh, the boots, there are a bunch of different boots. You can check out your different, your bank tab, your wardrobe for different ones. But the ones I used, I like how uh, the Heritage boots look. And those are from the Hall of Monuments if you have some of the achievements unlocked from Guild Wars 1. You can get these for free, the Heritage boots. If you've never played Guild Wars 1 and, and don't have access to the Hall of Monuments, well, then you're going to need to choose a different boot pair from uh, the wardrobe. But really, that's not the, the major part of the costume. So if you get the other pieces, the boots should be pretty quick, pr pretty easy. And of course, uh, the die I'm using is an expensive die. There are some substitutes. I'm using the Abyss die because it gives you that, that kind of really black look to the armor um and it makes it shiny uh, but if you use if you just you know you want to use a cheaper version you can go with black i'll show you what that looks like it, it kind of dulls down the color a little bit and let, makes it a little less shiny but I, I i think that it would definitely work so there that's what it looks like there actually it looks pretty cool as well so if the cheaper version would be black um if you want to go for the gold go for the abyss if you have some spare change lying around and that's that's really it this is the the darth vader look any kind of glowing sword would probably work for a um a lightsaber maybe some of the super adventure box skins uh i unfortunately i have it fits, goes really nice with my uh my my fairly new uh legendary here well that's gonna wrap things up folks uh let me know what you think of this darth vader costume if you've made your own darth vader costume with uh, using different items or maybe a medium or a light armor set send me a picture on facebook or twitter you can find my uh handles in the uh description below i would also like to see if you uh craft this uh exact outfit and uh 
as a use use this video as an inspiration. I'd like to see your pictures. Uh, please subscribe to the channel so you get notified when future videos are released. And I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Take care.